Alright, hey guys, welcome to another one of my Minecraft videos, Retro Gamer 420 here, and today I'll be showing you how to make a combination door, and it's a lever operated combination door, it's one of the simpler combination locks to make, I also made a tutorial on how to make a button operated uh, combination lock, it's a little bit more complex than this one, so if you found that one hard, this one's a lot easier to make, and I'll show you how it works first. So, if you know the correct combination, you put those all in like so, and then you test the door out, and then the door will open, and then you'll be able to go in your home or whatever, and then it'll automatically close for you. You got the option to lock people out, so even if they know the correct combination, they won't get in. If you want, you can open the door from here, and you can walk out from here like so or you could just have a simple button just to get out of your house providing you're not standing on that so there we go um so yeah you'll be able to change the combination to whatever you like and i got a better example over here on how to do this so let me just reset all this so wherever you want your combination to be, you just put torches there. So you can just start it all off like like so. And um just place your torches wherever you want. So say if you wanted this lever right here and this lever, you just place a redstone torch behind it, and then that'll be your combination. And then you test it out. And then that'll open. So you can change it up however you want. If you want, you can add uh, more redstone, make it longer, add more levers, or shorter, whatever, it's up to you. This redstone torch here, it can go anywhere here, so it doesn't have to be right there. It can be there, for example. It'll still work. So, what's happening here is once you get all this, um, all this correct, all this redstone basically goes off, goes into this AND gate. And then this AND gate waits for this button to be pressed. So when that's pressed, it act activates this memory cell and it stores the redstone signal that it's on and opens the door. So yeah, that's how that works. And I'll show you a shot of all of this afterwards. Um, here's the reset button. So the reset button just travels back to this side of the memory cell which resets the signal so you could just go ahead and reopen it because the combo is still set there and just close it there or lock people out and they won't be able to get in so yeah let's take a look at the door here so it comes in from here goes down and it goes to two inverters so it's a double inverter there I don't know if you can make that out there you go so that just kind of goes down to the back side of that over there and you can make out how the pressure plate is wired so Right around here somewhere would be a good spot to pause the video and replicate it. And you should be able to replicate that fairly easy. If you want, you don't have to have this lockout switch here. You can just go ahead and remove that. And if you want to use just that button there, you could just remove this like so too. So that's entirely up to you. When you leave the house, you'll have to use this button now, though, which is kind of a pain sometimes, you can see. So that's why I had that other button there. Alright, guys, I think that pretty much sums up this video. If you enjoyed this Minecraft tutorial, check some of my other tutorials out. Comment, rate, subscribe.